former UFC heavyweight champion Francis, is set to step into the boxing ring for a significant bout against one of the sport's renowned figures. As per combat sports journalist Ariel Hawani's report on Friday, Francis is scheduled to take on Anthony Joshua in a 10-round boxing match slated for March 9 in Saudi Arabia. Francis's boxing journey gained attention when he came close to victory against Tyson Fury in his debut last year in the same location. His remarkable performance included a substantial knockdown during the fight, narrowly missing a win based on the judges' scorecards. Drykus Duplessis responded to Sean Strickland getting emotional and crying during a podcast. Drykus believes that people give Strickland too much credit for his mental strength. Here is what he said. It is what it is. I'm glad he cried and he got it out, it's the end of that. I think we give him a lot more credit than he deserves in terms of mindset. Do I think he's a hypocrite? 100%. Obviously, you know, childhood trauma is something you can't help but you know. If you know what it feels like to be the one on the receiving end of such trauma, don't inflict it on others because that's exactly what he does. So yes, I mean I feel bad for him. I don't think any kid deserves that ever. I think he's used to being the bully and he's not used to being bullied. I don't have to hammer on that. I already won that fight. I won that press conference and I don't want to keep hammering on the same thing. He cried on Theo Vaughn's podcast, I guess it was terrible and like I said, no kid deserves that. Bello Muhammad is very confident that he has everything he needs to defeat Leon Edwards. Although it's not official yet, there are rumors that Bello might face Leon Edwards at UFC 300 in April and Bello firmly believes he will win that fight. Here is what he said. The path I had to go since the Leon fight was way different than him. You fought Nate Diaz, who you should have been able to walk through. You didn't. You fought Usman, who was killing you. He had you broken mentally and you landed a head kick, okay. Then, your rematch, you did what you just did to Colby. You made it a lackluster fight. You didn't fight. You hit and moved, hit and moved, hit and moved. I think Leon having to fight somebody like me who is hungry, who has been fighting the best guys in the world, it's going to be a different kind of fight for him. He's going to realize that when he's in the cage and his motivational speaker who he has in his corner in between rounds, he can't really give him advice. Beautiful, Leon. When you have coaches like that who give you that type of advice in between, that just tells me how weak mentally you are. You need those type of guys with you. Like, have David Goggins in your corner because you're going to need more motivation than ever when you fight me. Bella also mentioned that he plans to train with Khabib and Islam in Dagestan, which adds extra excitement to the fight. It remains to be seen whether Bella can fulfill his words and secure the title, or if Leon will continue his reign. Michael Chandler intends to retire Conor McGregor in their upcoming fight as payback for McGregor making him wait over a year. McGregor recently revealed that their fight will take place on June 29, which is longer than anticipated by everyone, considering both fighters have been inactive for years. Here is what Chandler said about this fight. I think I'll be the last person. He's lost fights but I think we haven't really seen him be dominated. He was getting beat by Poirier and then obviously had the injury. He got beat by Poirier the first time obviously, but I think I dominate him in a fashion that it's almost as if he can keep trying to come back but he will have lost the fans interest so much more after I do to him what I'm gonna do to him on June 29th. There's definitely a certain aspect of that revenge aspect, make him pay for the last year. Some of it was outside of his control but some of it, a lot of it, he created. I knew what I signed up for, I knew I signed up to do the ultimate fighter against a guy who was coming back from a devastating leg injury, and it could have been delayed, but I didn't think it would be delayed this long, and all of that is just deposits in the bank of me just wanting to absolutely smash this dude. Chandler is taking this fight extremely seriously. He's already started his training camp six months before the fight, and is committed to being in the best shape possible. The fact that the fight will be at 185 pounds makes it even more risky for both fighters. Thanks for watching. 
If you're a fan of MMA be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you never miss an update. Also leave a comment below with your thoughts on today's news. Keep supporting the sport, and we'll see you in the next one.